Okay, so I'm in the uh, cool tent right now because I need a little break, but I have the honor right now to interview my man, Ken Rosado. Ken, how are you doing, sir? Nice. nice to see you. We're doing really great. Thank goodness we're in the cool tent. <laughs> yeah, and I love it. So how excited are you? I know you do this a lot, but this year is a little bit more significant. So how is your emotions right now going on? You're about to go on stage, interview a lot of great people. You have a lot of great stuff to talk about. What is your inspiration behind this whole parade this year? I think a lot of people whose rights had not been recognized in the city and throughout the country and world, literally this is the epicenter of civil rights for people who are in the LGBTQIA plus community. And, and by the way, for people who question all the additional letters, it's the whole point of it is to welcome anyone who has felt set aside uh, and not part of America. So that's why, by the way, they keep adding the letters and the plus. It's so that everyone feels welcome in the, in the organization, if you will, uh, the association. But I can say honestly that, that to be here today on a day of pride, it's not just pride for people in LGBTQ, it's pride to be American, it's pride for people who are, who are here physically and those who are watching on TV. So just come and celebrate. Nobody should feel castigated, set aside, made fun of. This is where everyone is welcome. Yeah, and that's what I always tell people, especially when I spoke in Times Square, is New York City is about the people. We're known as the melting pot, not because of the buildings or the food. It's about the diversity that comes together, where at the end of the day, we are the rainbow, because we're the reflection of what that rainbow is, to remind us how beautiful we are when we come together. Now, I was speaking with Eric and Leticia, and we all agree on one thing. The hashtag today should be pride, proud New York. And I think that sums it up. What do you think about that, Kevin? Totally agree. Totally agree. In fact, I always wear, for instance, I always wear the colors of the trans flag. So that's a, in a blue, uh, uh, sort of a pink and white. Uh, so in, on my jacket, see on the, on the lapel there, or on the, uh, in the pocket square, yeah. it's always pink. So I just want everyone to be represented. And I think that is exactly right. You hit it uh, on the head when you said that. It is about welcoming everybody, pride, and the reflection of the community that New York City is. Yes, and guys, I agree, and we both agree, of course, Ken. This is Ken Rosado from ABC on FaceTime with Todd Warden right here at the 2022 New York City Pride Parade.